Hello everyone, today I'm going to be teaching you something that I learned along the way and it is about using solver and recording that solver uh, with a macro and then attaching a bottom uh, for that macro uh, and, and after doing that we will be able to automate the process of solving an equation and that equation is uh, used uh, quite a lot in engineering so let's get started so first, uh, in order to use solver, you need an equation. An equation has a left-hand side and a right-hand side. <coughs> in this case, uh, the right-hand side is the equation. This equation, as you can see over here, and the left-hand side is going to be uh, the constant, that is mu, that is uh, supplied as mx plus mx minus mx my plus my minus uh, over here, my minus mx minus those are the positive and negative moments for a slab uh, we will be doing this according to the Indian standard that is how we get the uh, ultimate moments mu so let's get started uh, first we need an objective which will be the difference between the left hand side and the right hand side of the equation is uh, this thing has to be zero and when that happens uh, whatever we get as answer for AST is going to be the solution for this given equation. All right. So for that, left hand side is. Let's get started. Right? Left hand side is obviously going to be this thing over here, multiplied by 10 to the power of 6 to be converted into a kilonewton mm. I guess uh, no newton mm. And the right hand side is going to be this equation that I'm going to type right now because 0 0.7 into Fy is going to be 500 for this one into AST is going to be the variable into bracket open D is going to be the clear cover that I have kept as 105 minus Fy is 500 into AST is again this thing divided by 20 divided by 1000 20 is the FCK uh, characteristic compressive strength of concrete that we are using as <coughs> N20 and 1000 is the spacing of the rebars I mean uh, for a given meter length or width of the slab that we are going to find out the uh, reinforcement required so press enter and do this for the remaining cells so uh, until now we are just inputting the values of left hand and right hand side of the equation uh, for AST we can start out with assuming any number uh, greater than 0 if possible don't use 0 it's gonna uh, have it's gonna bring out some issues later on so after doing this uh, we can start to use macro Try again oh uh, I have to uh, create a new one I will name it, uh, what do I name it, test underscore one, uh, create, alright, now I've come to the, what do you call this, uh, VBA window, I'm not going to do it this way, so again, stop recording macro, I will name it test two because I screwed up with the name at the first one, uh, record solver for AST calculations right. now uh, we can start using solver go to data and start solver the objective is gonna be this thing over here that has to be uh, set to zero uh, set to minimum value we will not do it the value of zero we will rather do minimum so that sometimes the difference is a little I mean not close to zero it's very small but it's not zero so we keep it minimum sometimes that happens and the next thing is the variable that changes that is going to be AST press enter and then solve so one thing is solved now we'll go for another moment uh, press here enter for this, this, enter, solve, 
All right. Okay. And again, and this one. Enter. This one. Enter. Solve. Okay. And this has been solved. As you can see, left hand side and right hand side, the difference has already turned to zero, and whatever you get as the value of AST is going to be our answer. All right. Again. This one. Enter. And this one. Enter. Solve. So as you can see that this thing has been solved, the right hand side and the left hand side has been the same. Now we can uh, press OK and then close. We're not going to do it anymore. Now uh, stop recording. So we have uh, carried out the solver, solved the equation as well as recorded everything. There is a little more we got to do before we uh, actually... Uh, all right, let's uh, make a button for this macro. Uh, this one, anything is fine at this time. Now, right click, edit text, add solver for AST, <coughs> and then select it. Control Shift backstroke, and then Control Shift. Uh, I don't know what this uh, bracket or something <coughs> to make it bigger, and then. Right click again and assign macro. This time we assign test 2. Press OK. OK, now when you press on this, when you go over this uh, circle, you see a hand. Uh, now we don't know that it has become a button. Click it. Press OK. Press OK. Press OK. Press OK. So we, we had used four solver. Uh, problems and therefore we had to click on solve that uh, solver for four times I will tell you a way where we can do it with one button click and nothing else touched so again one 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 or anything number <coughs> 85 and then do this as you can see the the solver button and the macro it works quite fine now we need to edit a little bit. It is not necessary, but if you do it, it's better. Step into it. So we are here. Uh, we have to write something a little small code as well. V E R R E S E T. That makes the solver to uh, reset. Uh, solver solve user F I M A S H. Uh, double in this column and then right through all right we're done now uh, select this paste it whatever solver solve is written and one more thing go to tools oh no need to go there thank god control save it now we can close it okay and then let's try it again 5 10 50 99 enter solve it so there you go this is the value that we wanted and that's how you do it all right that's all for now i will stop recording